so hey everybody this is literally like the eighth time i've tried to make this video um so i just wanted to give a quick update now i'm gonna go super fast because before it was like one in the detail but now i've tried to make this too many times so what i wanted to say was i'm getting super excited for my surgery um i wanted to give everybody a quick little if you're one of the people who you don't have your money yet you're still trying to make the money and you happen to live in a big city or an area that doesn't have a lot of like hotels for example or stuff like that you can always as a way to make quick money airbnb your house apartment bedroom if you have another place to stay another option not with my kids didn't have school this week so we like went on staycations. We basically went to other parts of Berlin and that's where we're staying now. We're living in, we're in the west of Berlin when normally we live in the east of Berlin. So we've came here and it's literally only because it's cheaper. Um, this place, to rent this place was drastically cheaper than it was to stay in our own house, how much we rented our house out for. Um, because basically I could rent my house out for a weekend and make like 500 euros. Um, and then after I deduct how much I spent on somewhere to stay, I still made over 400 euros, which in the U S money, if I say I made 430, that's like making like 500 or 510. So uh, $510. So if I make 430 euros, that means basically I just pocketed $510 somewhere along that line. Um, so anyway, that's what we've basically done for the last two weeks. So I've been super busy, super hectic. Go home to prepare that, our my house for guests to come. And then me and the kids go. We go somewhere else. It's been an adventure, going to different grocery stores, seeing different things. Let me open this door because there's a little bit of So yeah, that's basically what we've been doing. Sorry about the echo if there was a huge echo in the first part of the video. So that's what we've been doing. Going from place to place, visiting, traveling getting to know different parts of Berlin. Um, so there was one thing I wanted to mention. Thus far, I've lost a little bit over 40 pounds. So before I went on this trip, I went on Amazon and I ordered this, this Fett Weltbrenner, which basically in German, it's a fat burner in English. So I ordered this fat burner. Been helping me out a lot. Um, energy wise, I still have like 30 pounds I want to lose. I tried to post like a picture on Instagram, um, on my surgery Instagram. Um, if you want to add me on there or see my page, I'll leave it in the description box below, but it's G E R M N period C H O C L A T E, um, German chocolate. So yeah, um, but I try to post a picture naked and somebody flagged me. I'm like, my page is private. Like, who flagged me? But anyway, it didn't matter. I just wanted to, one, have a, a record of, like, what I look like. And, two, I wanted, like, people's input. Should I lose, who should I lose, try to lose more weight? Because um, I don't want to make it to where I don't have enough fat and my BBL is looking whack. Um, so, other than that, what did I want to mention? So, I wanted to talk about... Um, Oh, so about supplies. So little by little, like every other day, every two days, I go, because I know my surgery buddy sent me a bunch of stuff she was going to order from one of the drug markets, not drug markets, it's like drug stores that we have right here, but drug stores that are in Germany are not like U.S. drug stores. Um, they literally have mostly like makeup, hygiene products, diapers, and stuff like that. It's like a save-on or like, um, not Savon, what's that other store? <sighs> Long's Drugs? No, that's something that we had in California. Rite Aid. It's like a Rite Aid minus a lot of stuff. <laughs> you can't go get medicine in there for real. You got to go to like a drug store to get medicine, an apotheca to get medicine. Um, so it's not like U.S. style drug stores. So these mainly have like cosmetics, some bio or like bio is like organic out here food items diapers cleaning supplies um we don't have like walmart and stuff out here a lot of vitamins mm, you can buy contact lenses mm. anyway stuff like that so i've been going like every other day i pick up something and check it off with the list 
even my daughter, she asked me the other day, like, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, give me that American moolah. And she was like, no, 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 what do you really want? I don't want to give you money. So I was like, well, you can get me little stuff that I'll need for my surgery. So she started watching, like, packing videos with me and on her own about, like, what stuff that people need. First, she was talking about she going to give me a faha. I was like, I don't know where you could find a faha out here in Berlin. But you definitely ain't going to find no faha out here in no Berlin. So, yeah, so um, my surgery buddy sent me a bunch of different um, screenshots of the stuff she's ordering. So I looked at everything she's ordering, and I wrote a list of all of that. And then on top of that, um, I ordered, or in my Amazon cart right now, which I'll order probably next week, I put like the easy peas, um, what else did I put, um, the easy peas, compression socks, and, um, there's some other things, oh, baby wipes, or wipes, and... I want to see how much the pads are on there because I looked at the pads on in the store. So I'm going to see if they have a bigger package or what because I'm being I'm going to be there for two weeks in the DR. I don't know if I mentioned this in this video because I've recorded this a bunch of times. So um, if you haven't watched my other videos, I'm going to Dr. Yilly. I'm getting a tummy tuck BBL. And initially I thought I was just going to get a breast augmentation, but she suggested that I get a breast lift and I didn't read that in the quote the first quote so I put on one of the breast augmentation she said breast lift or breast augmentation but I don't if I have to get a breast lift I want to get implants um it's just like that's just how I feel so um because I don't want to later have to get another breast lift or want to get implants later so I'm like you already in there handle that so yeah so when I added that on, when I asked for clarification about the and or breast lift or breast augmentation, then I got um, a new quote. And then in that new quote, it said that I needed to stay in a DR for 14 days, which I'm cool with. As long as I'm, you know, taking care of them well, I come back good. The extra days don't really bother me. And then it was cool because I was talking to my surgery buddy. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get a tattoo. This one tattoo and it's cool because she's like a model well yeah I don't want to yeah she's a much like she models for like a tattoo company or it's yeah so anyway so and she sent me their page and they're located in the DR so I was like well that's cool I could like kill two birds with one stone I'm there I'll have extra time and it'll always be like a memory that I'll have um so yeah I'm super pumped about that. I feel like everything is just coming together step by step. So I've been grinding super hard, eBay, all the extra things I do just to make money. Because like I said, I really don't want to take money from like my general paycheck. And then it's like, I don't want, I, I didn't want to use, I went in February because I wanted to try to catch it before tax time. And then the tax time rush. And then I didn't want to spend my tax money Um going to the DR. I wanted to make sure that my tax money went to this next summer so I can enjoy my body, my new body, you know? I figure generally it's like five to six months where you're really, you're better, you're much better for recovery time. And I want to make sure like I take my kids to a bunch of beaches in Europe to see different things. I want to go to Greece. I would love to go to Rome. So it's like, I want to make sure that I'm enjoying my body, not just using my money to get the body, if you know what I mean. So that's my plan where it's like next summer, oh, we're going everywhere. Everywhere with the beach, we're there. Because um, I February, March, April, May, June, July. July is five months. So I want to enjoy like touristy stuff next summer with my kids. And my son, my, my youngest son will be older then. So it'll be cool to go experience a bunch of different countries with all my kids. Um, so yeah, that's my update. Peace and love to everybody. Please feel free to comment down below. Go look at my Instagram page. Um, I try to put, like I said, I try to post a picture naked. Somebody flagged me. So I'm going to try it again. Hopefully none of them haters out there flag me again. Or I'll put something that's like semi nude. Hold up. But I'll get up right now and I'll show you guys. Or you guys can tell me. I'm going to show you guys. There's a mirror right here. I'll show you guys. Hold up. Let me fix my pants.
and what my body is looking like right now. So you guys can tell me what you guys think. Do y'all think? Because I, I, in my mind, I want to lose like another 30 pounds. But I'm like, is my BMI being at like 32 too low? Am I still going to have enough fat? So anyway, so you guys can see. Here, hold up. I can just flip this. So yeah, this is what I'm looking like right now. 